Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, good morning, everybody. Time for another installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning today. Number three, the key number three to having a happy, healthy, balanced life right after this. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and I can uh, just be transparent and honest with you this morning, can't I? Um, I failed to check the contents of the coffee cup before we got started this morning, so not sure how this is going to turn out. This week, uh, we've been talking about the seven keys, going through them one at a time. Seven keys to a happy, healthy, balanced life. Monday was managing how you spend your time. And yesterday was taking care of your health. Those two things are kind of um, inward facing. They're, they're you things, me things that I need to address. Today's um, is not completely me and it's not completely you. But we'll get to that in just a minute. If you are watching the video... I'd love it if you would drop me a little note, just say hi, like Joe just did, just to let me know that you're here. That's pretty awesome. I always enjoy that. And um, if you know someone, and we all do, let's face it, even if, even if you can say with all confidence that you've got everything squared away and things are working well for you, you know somebody. There's somebody in your network that could benefit from this conversation this week. Go ahead and share this video in the... Um, in your news feed so that other people can pick up on it. Which reminds me, good morning, Brooke, reminds me there are plenty of other ways to get this uh, show also. <coughs> it's available on uh, iTunes, TuneIn, uh, YouTube. It's all over the place. So regardless of how you are watching, thank you for being here. All right, so how you manage your time, managing your health, number three, today's key number three. Your relationships. See, it's that's not really a me and it's not really a you. It's kind of an us thing. So out of these seven, they're split pretty evenly between the things that face outward and the things that face inward. This is kind of the first thing that's getting out of our own self and into something else. But, you know, here, here's the... Uh, really, I'm going to go right straight to the key takeaway, okay? Number one best-selling self-help book of all time Purpose Driven Life, right? And in that book, it says, and, and I believe, that we are built, we are wired for relationships. I mean, uh, I don't know, because I don't watch TV, but I know that there's been this, uh, has been a reality show where people get taken out into the woods and they're left out there by themselves and, you know, just them and the camera, and it can drive you batty because we are wired for relationships. Now, what we do, so we're going to have relationships. If you have a job, you have relationships with the people that you work with. They might not be good, but they are relationships, right? Uh, it, so what I want you to be mindful of is to be conscious about those relationships. At the end, if we fast forward to, you know, our last week or so, on the planet. We're not going to be trying to get another email out. We want to try and reconnect and have time with those important relationships. Well, why wait until then? Let me tell you a quick story. Now, one of the, the kind of key milestones in my life that changed the way that I thought about work, and uh, so this would have happened in 96, 96, 97 time frame. Probably 96. So, I was working at a job, you may have heard this story, I apologize, I was working at a job, we were billing, it was a consultancy, and we, were, we were billing 60 or 70 hours a week, so I was working a lot more than that. And one day, I would, you know, the, the managers, we had offices around the outside, and then they had this little sea of cubicles out there, and I was walking across the cube floor, and it just occurred to me, you know what? The kids are asleep when I leave home to come to work. And they're asleep when I get home. And I work six or seven days a week. And if 
I do take a day off. I just want to be left alone. They're only going to be at home for a short period of time. Relatively short, you know, compared to my whole life. I need to, I need to spend more time with them. And that was the day where I started looking for ways to manage the way I spent my time so that I could have more freedom to spend time with them. At the time, I thought, in fact, I remember saying to myself, well, they're only going to be home till they're 18 and then they'll be gone. The reality was they're only home till they were 16 and got uh, a car. <laughs> and then, then they, that's when they quit eating dinner with us and all bets were off after that. So, you know, I was fortunate and that I realized the things that I w was doing, the patterns that I were pursuing were not conducive to pouring into and developing those deep, meaningful relationships uh, with my kids, my, my wife, and my friends. And, and so I took steps to change that. All too often we get, you know, we get to a place where we have alienated everybody else. We've, you know, we've put everything else ahead of them. They've realized that, and they've moved on without you. And you just find yourself there. Yeah, they're still my wife, my kids, my neighbor, my friends. Well, I don't really know what's going on. I'm not really plugged into what they've got going on. They're not really in tune with what I've got going on. That can be a challenge sometimes anyway, because, you know, we see things differently than they do. But be intentional about your relationships. Schedule time for it. In my, I've got to start putting it up here by the table so I can show you, but Every morning, I pick, you know, five people that I'm going to spend some time with today just to stay connected to them. That's all. And even if it's just a text message, a quick email, a phone call, have lunch with them, whatever, uh, you know, that, that's, that's my method of being intentional about maintaining that contact. So here's my question for you today as we kind of wrap things up. Is there a relationship in your life that you may have let that connection wane just a little bit. I'm going to challenge you to reach out to them today and just say hi. That's it. That's all you got to do. Hey, just thinking about you. Wanted to say hi. Hope everything's well. Talk to you soon. That's it. If you got that from a, a long lost friend, how would that make you feel? See? All right. That's it for today. Coffee Shop Show is coming up at 9 o'clock today live from Old Town Coffee. Uh, and five points here in Huntsville. If you are in the area, drop by, have a cup of coffee with us, watch, watch blah, 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 blah. two days in a row. Watch us do the show live. We love to have a live cafe audience. And um, yeah, that's at nine o'clock. Be back here tomorrow with number four of the seven things necessary, seven keys to having a happy, healthy, balanced life. You have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.